Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rational Investors ongoing tutorial series on how to use Coinigy's platform and technical analysis tools. Uh, here today we're going to do a basic demonstration of the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool, how to apply it, and some concepts, ideas, maybe to help you uh, with your thinking when using them. So, as you can see on the screen here, we have uh, BTC in US dollars on GDAX. Um, and you can see we're in a nice up market. And maybe you're asking yourself, uh, you know, this is one heck of a rally. Is there any kind of levels that maybe we can look at off of the higher time frame charts that sort of help us uh, get an idea of where maybe the market might be going? So uh, probably first thing we want to do is let's uh, switch to a weekly price chart so we can say a nice big picture of price action. And then we're going to hit the little circle button here down at the bottom of the screen to put everything on the screen. So now you can see, gee whiz, there's the entire price action for Bitcoin. Um, not a bad idea maybe just to scroll the recent range. Um, and we'll even hide the volume now just while we're doing this study. So we're going to kind of take our mouse over to the uh, left-hand panel, and you see uh, about, I guess it's three boxes down. There's, uh, I think the default when you load this up is like Andrew's Pitchfork. We're going to take our mouse, and we're going to scroll down to where it says Fib Retracements. And we're going to click on that button, and you'll notice that there should be three nice little lines. And when you take your mouse over it, it says Fib Retracements. Uh, we're then going to uh, take the tool and we're going to draw uh, from where we want to start the study, but ultimately uh, to where we want to end. So we're looking at the Bitcoin price uh, and we're going to start over here at the high and we're going to left click and then we're going to drag our mouse all the way down to the lowest low like I did right there. Um, as you can see by the defaults, uh, you're going to get both um, Fibonacci retracement and extension levels uh, on this study. For the purposes of this conversation, because we want to keep these uh, tutorials relatively short, we're just going to talk about the retracement levels. And if you want to, you can even, uh, for the purposes of this conversation, we'll even come in and we'll just put the extension levels away for the time being. So we're looking, when we say retracement, we're looking at everything between 0% uh, or where the st um, study ends, all the way up to 1.0 or basically 100% of that study range. And you'll notice that the levels are noted in decimals here. Um, so, you know, and just multiply by 100 to get your percentage. Um, so, uh, you know, for the purposes of this conversation, we'll even maybe just put away the background color so we can just see the levels. Uh, and why don't we even, um, we'll even put away this trend line tool just so it's nice and clean. So now you can see that, uh, and, you know, what I often suggest to students is to make sure that you've drawn your Fibonacci uh, retracement levels correctly. Go right on your screen well, the first maybe dozen times or so you do this and just simply type out what question does this study help me answer? And if you uh, can answer this question, then you'll know you've done your FIB study correctly. In essence, this study is to try and help us understand what percentage of this down move is the like market likely to take back. So if I look at these numbers and then keep this question in mind, then what this study is saying is that this is 23.6% of that move. This is 38.2% of that entire move. This is 50%, 61.8, of this entire move. Now, just for reference purposes, 50% is actually not a Fibonacci level. It's actually attributed to WD GAN. But for the purposes of saving time and space, uh, a lot of technical analysis studies will throw it in there as well. And it is a very important level. 
And I might even argue that that's probably what the market is shooting for right now is just a simple 50% retracement of this entire move. Um, some handy reference points for you. Uh, when I used to work with uh, the people on the New York Stock Exchange, one gentleman in particular used to follow uh, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level like a hawk. And uh, he always uh, schooled us that, in essence, we can't even really decide if this downtrend is over until this 38.2 has been tested and resolved. And you might argue to a certain degree that this rally up into this level, the back off and then the punch through, might even be that resolution. Only time will tell. Uh, as I said just a moment ago, um, this level, the 50% level, is attributed to WD GAN. And most markets, most of the time, will do 50% retracements as nothing more than just a very natural reaction to a move. Uh, the next key level area that we like to watch uh, is what I affectionately call the reload zone. Uh, and to mathematicians, the 61.8 Fibonacci level is extremely significant. Uh, 61.8 is a pretty important harmonic number. Uh, and affectionately, I used to trade with a gentleman on the, um, on the uh, crude markets, and he was a very, very good trader. Uh, and he used to trade 61.8 Fibonacci retracements religiously. And we like to affectionately call him Mountain Man. That was what his trading name was. And we often put a big M on our screen at his level. So my hunch is you're probably going to see some action off of this level as well. The top of what we call our reload zone um, is what we like to, and re RLZ, I'll put on my charts for reload zone. In this particular case, uh, somebody uh, clearly stopped the Bitcoin rally up into this event, and that was that CME futures listing event. Uh, and they put a top in the market. And so ultimately, when we talk about reload zones, what we're really saying is if this is indeed a top and these guys want to defend their positions, then they will step back in and they will reload on their shorts. So as you can see, we still have quite a ways to go to get up into that area. But as I said just a moment ago, and you know, a lot of professional traders will start stepping in off this 61.8. Um, but uh, what I affectionately like to call the line in the sand, if we see uh, markets get up into this level, and this really still is a bear, then this is where the institutions will ultimately defend uh, the market. And you often see markets actually will punch a little bit beyond it, but ultimately roll over and top out. So, uh, you know, just as an illustration, if we go back in time and we do the exact same logic off of the rally, you'll notice that if we draw our fibs off of these lows, we want to ask ourselves, what question does this study attempt to answer? In this particular case, we're asking how much of this up move is the market likely to take back? Are these FIBs drawn correctly? Is that 78% of that up move? No, it isn't. So we need to go into our studies and we need to reverse the study. So now is that 23% of that up move? Yes. Is this 76% of that up move? Yes. So our FIBs are drawn correctly. And interestingly enough, if we do that same reload zone concept, only this time it's going to be the bulls. And to make it easy, maybe even change the background color to a, a green for bulls, red for bears. And we uh, throw on the same levels. You'll notice that if this was a bull and the bulls are still in charge, like we said just a moment ago, off of this reload short zone and the line in the sand, 78.6, you'll notice that, gee whiz, the market came down and it put in a very polite bottom right off of that 78.6 level and broke out nicely. 
So hopefully this has been a nice little walkthrough of how you can uh, draw uh, Fibonacci studies on coinage charts and some levels for you to think about um, using um, with this study. Uh, both the 38.2, and it's actually interesting because you can see in this particular case, 38.2 actually was the initial pullback level of the Bitcoin rally right there, and then ultimately lost it, so no longer a bull. And then conversely, 38.2 on the upside, rallied up to it, pulled back, blasted through. Maybe we've just seen the market actually resolve this bear market in back into a trading range. If that is indeed the case, then we should be looking for things like mountain man levels uh, and lines in the sand to help us uh, see if uh, we fail up at the top end of the range. All right, so I hope that helps you uh, understand how to uh, draw uh, Fibonacci retracement studies, how to use the study to identify uh, levels, and um, questions to ask yourself while you're drawing your studies uh, to try and validate whether you're actually doing this study correctly or not. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, all the best, and bye for now.